Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to do a deep dive into Abercrombie & Fitch jeans. I have a few different styles of denim that I'm going to try on, and it's going to be a helpful video if you ever want to try out some Abercrombie jeans. As always, everything's going to be linked down below in the description box, and I also have a QR code. You can scan the code and all the items that I'm talking about will be right on your phone. They have sizes from size 23 to 37, and they also come in different inseam lengths. They have extra short, short, regular, long, and extra long inseams. They also have low rise, mid rise, high rise, and ultra high rise jeans. They have a variety of different styles of jeans. They have skinny, they have mom jeans, they have 90s high rise jeans. And not only that, each jean has a variety of different washes and shades, sometimes over 15 different shades. So I am confident that you will find a pair of Abercrombie jeans that fit you perfectly. Abercrombie also has a curve love line, which is basically all of their classic jeans in a curve love section. Everything is the same, except they add two inches around your hip and thigh area. So if you ever struggled with finding jeans with a scap, or you just find that you have a wider hips, like I have wider hip, the curve love line may be a better fit for you. I do think though that with Abercrombie jeans and trying jeans online in general, is that you're gonna have to probably buy two different sizes and kind of see which is your favorite fit. It's gonna be some trial and error. Okay, so for years, I always thought I was Curve Love. If you go on the website and check out the size chart, I am basically a Curve Love to the T. I have wider hips. I actually prefer their standard jean line just because the Curve Love for me was very, very tight in the waist area. And I feel like it didn't provide enough tightness in the belly area. I zip up my jeans. I prefer them to be like tucking in everything, if you know what I mean. For me, the Curve Love was just accentuating my lower belly. So let's just get into the first pair of jeans. The first two jeans are the Ultra High Rise Curve Love Straight Jean. These two are the only Curve Love jeans that I'm trying on in this video. Hopefully you can see the difference of the Curve Love versus their classic style jeans. And then also, let's just remember, we all have different body types. We have different torso lengths, we have different hip lengths. For size reference, I am five foot 10. My hip measurements are a 43 and a half hip and my waist measurement is a 32 inch waist. I'm normally a size 10, however, I find average crumpy jeans to run a little bit on the smaller side. So I have sized up to a 31 in all of the jeans except the first one. Okay, so the first jean I have is the Curve Love Ultra Straight 90s High Rise Jean. This is in the light wash with a destroy on the knee area. I don't think they sell this particular style anymore with the full cutout knee, but they do sell this in the light wash that it's in. Now this is a size 30 Curve Love, and for me, this is the tightest pair of jeans that I own from Abercrombie. Even when I got them last year, They've always been very, very tight in the waist area, but this does just run a little bit tight on me. As you can see, it's very tight around my waist area. And then when I turn around, this one just gives me like major wedgie vibes. I feel like because it's just so tight and so high rise, it kind of just like gives me a major wedgie in the back area. The second pair of Curve Love are the same style of jean, the ultra high rise 90s straight jean. And again, these are in the wash black color, also with some major knee rips. Now these are a size 31 Curve Love, and I thought, yes, all I need needed to do was just size up from the previous Curve Love jeans. However, these were the jeans that I got that I realized maybe Curve Love was just not right for me. Let me try some standard jeans. So as you can see, it fits me fine in the waist area, but when I turn to the side in these, because they have the two extra inches around the hip and thigh, I feel like around the belly, it just didn't suck me in. It kind of just like zipped up around my lower belly and I feel like it just accentuated the place that I don't want to be accentuated. So that's when I decided to try these standard style jeans from Abercrombie, even though from my body measurements, I should be buying Curve Love. However, I just like the fit of the standard jeans better. The next two jeans are the same style of jean as the ones that I just tried on. These are the ultra high rise 90s straight jean. Now I think these are the most popular Abercrombie jeans out there. These have plenty of washes, they have different kinds of inseams, they come in extra short, short, regular, long, extra long. So let's start off with the light wash. I like how it has kind of like a 90s distress look to them. Even along the waistband, there is some distressing, which I think is really cute. And even along the backside, there's just some details that kind of make these look lived in, even though. And the light wash is sort of like an acid wash. They have a lot of marbling going on. Because it's a light wash, I think these are more casual and work really great 
great on the weekends and things. 31 regular, so a regular length. And I think these just fit perfect. These are your classic straight leg jeans. If you're looking for a jean that has a straight leg look, but isn't too uncomfortable or too tight to wear, this is why this jean style is just so popular. The light wash also has a minimal amount of stretch where, and they will kind of mold to your body. These are probably my favorite pair of Abercrombie jeans in terms of a straight leg style, very classic. So these are ultra, ultra, ultra high rise. I personally love the ultra high rise. Then I tried the same style of jean, the ultra high rise 90 straight jean. This is the saturated black wash. And these are like a pure black jean. Now the thing with Abercrombie jeans, just kind of like so annoying a little bit is that every wash will fit a little differently because the fabric, fabric makeup might be a little bit different. But for these, I find these to be a bit more rigid and have less stretch than the light color. These on me are pretty like pretty tight on me all over. Straight leg, this is that classic straight leg style. I find it's very versatile because also this is a saturated black. You can wear this, you can dress these up a lot more and wear these with like different kinds of shoes. The length is perfect. Then another thing about Abercrombie jeans that I just love is that the back area is completely plain and there are no logos. So I feel like it just goes with all your outfits. The next style is the ultra high rise angle straight jean. Now this is another pretty light wash color. Now the difference between the ankle straight and the ultra high rise straight is that these are a cropped style. I am wearing these in a size 31 long and even in the long inseam, these do run cropped on me. So these are like perfect like summer jean in my opinion. I feel like these jeans are meant to be cropped and you can wear like your favorite sandals with these loafers and show off your ankle. So I think these are kind of like that perfect summer jean when you are just always wearing sandals and things. Whereas boots, you can wear these with boots, but I would make sure that your boot at least touches the bottom of the jean just because it's cropped. I love the color of these. They are ultra high rise. So for me, these fit very similar as the ones that I just tried on, but instead of a longer length, these are just a crop style of the ones I just tried on. This next style is a new style to Abercrombie. These, these are the loose high rise jeans and these are a loose jean. When I tried these on, I just felt all of like the early 2000s vibe all over again, but these are the loosest jeans that I've tried on from Abercrombie and I'm actually kind of obsessed with them. So the looseness starts right above the hip area and once that hip area starts, it is loose all the way down. Now I'm wearing these in a size 31 long and because I got these in a long, there is a bit of a fold of the jean when I wear these with just sneakers. When I put these on with a booty heel, the jean overall had a straight leg look, which I think looks so expensive. Now this also has kind of like a speckling detail. Honestly, it's the same denim as the jumpsuit that I'm wearing, which yes, yes, this is also from Abercrombie. It's so cute, by the way. So I will also leave this link down below. If you so overall, these fit relax at the hips and thigh, and then after the thigh, they go straight into a loose, baggy fit jean. Let me know down below what your favorite style of jean is. Is it baggy? Is it straight leg? Is it skinny? Let me know what your favorite jean style is down below. Similarly, I tried out the high rise 90s relaxed jean. So comparing the relax to the loose fit jean, the relax is a bit tight around the hip and thigh area. And these don't get loose until like the upper knee. These are a little more fitted than the loose jean. They still have a baggy bottom. Now these remind me of your typical boot cut jean where they're fitted in the butt and thigh and then they kind of just go straight from your knee. I'm wearing these in a size 31 regular and because these are a bit shorter on me, I paired these with sneakers and there is no fold at the bottom of them. And then I also paired these with heels. I think they look great with heels. If I had to choose though between the loose and the relaxed, I kind of like the loose fit just a bit better because it kind of feels a bit more trendy. Next up, we have the ultra high rise slim straight jeans. So these again are your ultra high rise rise they are these are fitted in the butt and thigh area they go in at the knee and then at the knee they kind of flare out again into a straight style they kind of remind me of a flare but instead of flaring out they just go into a straight style so they do kind of have like this ballooning effect right at the knee then they go down and i was actually really surprised with this cut because i actually really like how these fit these kind of give you the best of both worlds i know skinny jeans are like no longer in but these kind of give you that skinny jean look with without wearing a skinny. The bottom ankle opening isn't as big as the other one. This is the loose jean. As you can see, the opening of these two are like completely different. So this does give you 
a skinnier style without being a super skinny jean. It's not like the saturated black. It has a bit more of like a relaxed look to it. And this shade offers some stretch. So these are very, very comfortable to wear. These really surprised me because I really didn't know what to expect. And I honestly have not heard many people talk about this style. But if you are a team skinny girl, but don't want to be wearing a skinny, skinny jean, I recommend that you try these one out. And I'm wearing these in a size 31 regular length. Speaking of skinny jeans, I could not do a whole denim video and not touch on a skinny. While, while these are not like super in trend right now, denim styles have been recycling forever. So one of these days, these bad boys are gonna be the denim trend of the year. But currently I feel like we're still kind of dabbling into a straight style jean. But anyway, I had to try out the Abercrombie skinny jeans. I'm wearing these in a size 31 long and the long isn't too long on me. So these do run a little bit cropped. So if you want them to be a bit longer, I would maybe get a longer inseam. I like the wash of these. This is a really pretty medium wash color. I like the tones of them. And this is the most narrow leg opening that I have. If I compare them to the slim straight, the ones that I just tried on, the leg opening is just a little bit smaller. So these are your true skinny jean style. I like how there is a bit of stretch. And again, these do come in a lot of colors. And again, if you are team skinny, you gotta try out the Abercrombie skinny because they do fit nice in the hip and thigh area. Past the knee girl, they are skinny all the way down. And the last style I'm trying are the high rise mom jean. I'm wearing these in a size 31 long and these are a cropped style jean. They're fitted in the button thigh area. Once the knee hit, it tapers into a skinnier style. For me, these just kind of fit weird on my body. I, I found that there was a bunch of fabric right around the knee area. Like it didn't lay flat on my knee and it kind of gave me like a ballooning effect. Now, I think that is the style, like a mom jean. So for me, these were not my favorite Abercrombie jeans. However, I think if you have a more petite body frame, these might be a really great option for you. These do have rave reviews on online. I like the fit. Like I like how stretchy they are. I like the color of these. They have some nice whiskers in the front. They're a nice clean blue denim. So I like the wash of them. Again, like I said, we all have different body types. So I know for a fact though, that Abercrombie is going to have your perfect jean. They have a wide size variety. They have different rises and they have plenty of different washes and different styles. It might take some trial and error. So Keep that in mind. If you find a jean that you wanna try, I would honestly, if you have not found your Abercrombie size yet, I would order it in two sizes. And I would also try out the Curve Love line. That might be your perfect fit. As always, I have linked everything down below in the description box and in a pinned comment. Thank you so much for watching. With that, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.